Hey guys, welcome to my homeschool. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a little bit more in-depth description about what I'm putting in my son's daily writing folder. This is something that he does every day after we do group time, and it usually takes us about 15 minutes to get through, and we practice lots of different writing activities. So let's head over there, and I'll show you a little bit more in detail about what I've done. I've talked about this in my curriculum video, but this one I'm just gonna go through each page because I've had a couple of questions um, looking for a little bit more description and detail. So let's head over there and I'll show you what I have and it's really easy. You should be able to duplicate it for yourself. Okay, my friends, so this is my son's writing center. And I just wanted to show you a little bit here. I have um, a digital clock down here, an analog clock. This is a pencil box that he has that has crayons and pencils and dry erase markers. And then here is his school binder. Okay, so when he first opens it here, the first page is writing his name practice. Now he has been practicing writing his name since he was two years old. So, um, we are getting really good at writing our name. The first three, I made this page using Microsoft, or excuse me, using um, Adobe Photoshop. Um, the first three is just progressively lighter, and then the last section he writes um, on his own. And sometimes he'll write it in capital or lowercase. Um, it really doesn't matter. These are in sheet protectors, you'll notice, so that he can use, I have these Expo dry erase markers. He chooses which color he wants, whoops. And, um, and then he can write in his folder. Okay, so this is the second thing that we have here, and this is from Confessions of a Homeschooler's um, daily learning notebook kit that she sells. Um, and I, rather than make it myself, I just use what she gave us, and it's great. So he circles the day of the week. He writes, I just have him write the first letter or the first two letters of each day, today, yesterday, and tomorrow. And then he will write the date. I have up here, this calendar up here. Do, 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 do. Um, and so he will copy the date from the calendar that's up there. Okay. All right. So let's see. Oh, we talk about if it's odd or even. I haven't done that. We haven't really talked about odd or even yet, but we do color in the day today, before, and after. So 15, 14, 13 or excuse me, 16, and then this is to write the word for today's date. My son is four years old right now, so that's another section that we haven't done exactly yet. Okay, let's turn the page here. This is also from Confessions of a Homeschooler, and I have blocked out this part down here. It has to do with money, and we're not learning that right now because, again, my son is four. But this is the time, and um, I have written a lot around the clock the minutes that represent each number. And then we look up here, and so we will then copy the digital clock onto our paper, and, or excuse me, the analog clock, and then we write the digital clock, and then we work on some math. We talk about what it was an hour before and two hours in two hours. So then we do that page. Then we put our dry away markers. Again, these are in sheet protectors so that I can just erase it, hence why this little, I have a little eraser here, and it just comes right off after he writes it, so it's really convenient. Um, this is uh, also from Confessions of a Homeschooler, um, but really easy to duplicate yourself if you won't have the time to, um, but it's faster just to buy it for me. And we write down um, in a marker, he chooses what color marker he wants, and then we write the number day that it is, and then we color the weather in for whatever school day that it is. Now remember, I only do school days three days a week, so that's why we only have seven days here. Confessions of a Homeschooler includes this in her packet, so we are tally marking. This is in her K-4 curriculum, and we tally the school days. This is in her Letter of the Week curriculum as well as her K-4 curriculum, and we are writing in each school day that we are in school, which is 25 now. This is also in his daily learning notebook or his um, daily writing folder, although we only do it uh, once at the beginning of each month. So we started in September, October, November, um, and he will write his name one time each month. Okay, then there is this portion of the folder, and this is, um, I, these are just some folder uh, dividers that I've got, and I took a pen and wrote Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. These are the days that we have school at home, three days a week. 
Um, and I touched a little bit more about why I chose those days in our curriculum video. But behind each of them, I have two worksheets that we work on. Um, this is our morning work. It's called morning work, and I've purchased it from Teachers Pay Teachers. Again, I talked about it in my um, curriculum video, but I put one of these pages in and then any additional page. So for example, this one, I have a reading comprehension page. For Tuesday, we did the Mayflower, and then this is just a page that came from um, a Scholastic Reader book. And then on Friday here, we have another one of these November morning work from the, the Teachers Pay Teachers packet that I purchased. I believe that it's the Moffat girls that do these. I, I'll have to double check that and give you the right source. Um, and then this is just a basic concepts and skills page that came from um, one of these books over here. So just so that you can see, these are the books that I pulled these extra pages out of. And this is a Scholastic Ages 3 and 4. This is Comprehensive Curriculum of Basic Skills. I believe I purchased this at Costco. This one I think I got at Walmart. Um, and then I've kind of divided on the side here the different um, learning objectives. So it just kind of depends what I feel like. There's really no rhyme or reason to what I choose. I just choose one and then put it, put a three-hole punch in it and stick it in his behind the folder. Now, I will tell you that having all three of these days finished, you know, over the weekend so that they're ready for the full week is a really great tip. Then you don't have to worry about filling the folder um, each day as, as school goes on. If you have an older child, then just put more tab dividers on there and put each day of the week and you're good to go. So there you go. So I have really loved having Cameron's daily writing notebook. He learns um, penmanship and handwriting skills. We do a lot of those. Um, sometimes I do put handwriting practices in his work boxes as well. So his writing book notebook is not the only writing practice that he does. But I would encourage you if you are trying to do a little bit of schooling at home to get just a regular folder. It can be colorful and fun or it can be a simple white one. And then you can kind of divide it out as I have. It's very simple to kind of duplicate yourself. And then each day you can get your kid to uh, do their writing folder and Cameron's been doing it now for uh, since the beginning of the school year so it's November now and it was September when we started and he can basically do it by himself so it's very much an independent work which as busy mamas sometimes having some independent school work is very necessary so anyway hopefully you found this tip useful give myself give the video a like if you liked the content of this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already so you can see more videos like this have a good one guys mm -hmm.